రోజు చాలా సంతోషమైన రోజు అని అనుకుంటున్నాను ఎందుకంటే చాలా కాలంగా మనం ఈ రెండు పనులు జరగాలని కోరుకుంటున్నాం ఎప్పుడైతే ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ తెలంగాణ మరియు ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ అనే రెండు రాష్ట్రాలుగా ఏర్పడ్డాయో ఆ రోజు నుంచి కూడా అందరి యొక్క ఉద్దేశం ఏంటంటే రెండు రైళ్లు వేరువేరుగా ఉండడం అవసరము ఒకటి ప్రజల యొక్క అవసరాలను తీర్చడము రెండోది ప్రజల యొక్క అభిష్టాన్ని తీర్చడం కూడా చాలా అవసరమైన ఉద్దేశంతో మనము బడ్జెట్లోనే ఈ ప్రతిపాదన చేయడం కూడా జరిగింది రైల్వేకు తనకు పరిపాలనా పరంగా ఉన్నట్టు యొక్క నిర్వహణా పరంగా ఉన్నట్టు యొక్క అవరోధాలను అధిగమించి రైల్వే ఆ తర్వాత దీన్ని న్యూ ఢిల్లీ విజయవాడ తర్వాత కొద్ది రోజులకి న్యూ ఢిల్లీ గుంటూరు పేరుతో మేము ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ను ఏర్పాటు చేస్తామని చెప్పారు నేను చెప్పాను దాంట్లో అర్థం లేదు ఎందుకంటే విజయవాడ నుంచి రైలు బయలుదేరితే ఖమ్మంలోకి వెళ్ళిపోతుంది ఆ తర్వాత కాజీపేటకు వెళుతుంది ఆ తర్వాత మన తెలంగాణ మీదుగా మహారాష్ట్రలోకి వెళుతుంది అందువల్ల దానికి ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ అని పేరు పెట్టడం అర్థం లేదు ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ జిల్లాలు ఏమి కూడా కవర్ కావు కాబట్టి ఇది ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్లో కొన్ని జిల్లాలకు వెళితే బాగుంటుందని చెప్పడం జరిగింది మై సజెషన్ వాజ్ టు ఎక్స్టెండ్ దిస్ ట్రైన్ టూ వేస్ ఫ్రమ్ ఢిల్లీ విజయవాడ విశాఖపట్నం అండ్ అనదర్ బంచ్ ఆఫ్ కోచెస్ ఫ్రమ్ విజయవాడ టు తిరుపతి లెట్ తిరుపతి అండ్ దెన్ విశాఖపట్నం కమ్ టుగెదర్ జాయిన్ అట్ విజయవాడ కమ్ టు ఢిల్లీ దేర్ సీమ్స్ టు బి సమ్ టెక్నికల్ అండ్ ఆపరేషనల్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ as far as this arrangement is concerned keeping that in mind sri suresh prabhu after taking over as a minister he had a consultation with me we discussed with the, the previous railway board chairman the present chairman the previous railway minister minister or ministers and then also the present minister at the end of the day sri suresh prabhu has taken a decision to extend this train delhi to vijayawada to visakhapatnam i am very happy about it i would like to thank him on behalf of the people of andhra pradesh for this initiative which he has taken him and also sinhaji then the second thing is about the renaming of the ap express when ap is not there how can there be an ap express in telangana so i suggested that it should be named as telangana express they agreed immediately then minister but subsequently we came to know that there is a telangana express already existing in the secunderabad the zone which is going up to kagaz nagar so subsequently after discussion it was decided that the name of the telangana express will be changed as kagaz nagar express hyderabad to secunderabad kagaz nagar express that's a good arrangement the railway has done now the way is cleared for telangana converting ap express into telangana express but now again another problem has come in railways normally people make reservations 3 months in advance that is allowed as per the railway system so people have booked the tickets in ap express going to hyderabad now changing the name rf sadan will create some sort of confusion that's what they are saying though i feel it's not a big issue but still they are saying now by november uh, first 15th no by november 15th they will officially change it on records from tomorrow onwards i suggest to the people to call it as telangana express why tomorrow today or today onwards people can call it as telangana express after all we have to understand the sentiments of the people why we have divided the state two reasons one is administrative convenience and the second is the people's feeling of focused development if they have a separate state so keeping that in mind sentiment also we have to see that it is done at the earliest and people can start calling it as a telangana express delhi to hyderabad and then uh, i have a suggestion suresh ji i have gone through the time table your officers discussed with me but uh, the time that is given today is uh, 3 36 hours 20 minutes with my knowledge i used to travel train mostly earlier of course now we are traveling mostly by air as the there is present time the tamil nadu express from delhi to vijayawada or the ap express from delhi to hyderabad or the other super expresses they take 26 hours 20 minutes to vijayawada from delhi from vijayawada to visakhapatnam it is only 6 hours so keeping that in mind this 36 hours 20 minutes can be reduced to 32 hours so that the journey can be made easy so i request as uh, suresh prabhu ji and also chairman railway board i am giving a note you can go through that and then also discuss ways and means of reducing it the time and increasing the speed if necessary and uh, with regard to other requests and all they can be seen subsequently there is a long pending uh, demand of a railway zone which has been uh, considered by the committee and committee has given its report and it's under active consideration of the government i don't want to now make anything because parliament is uh, functioning 
functioning or whatever it is functioning. <laughs> uh, 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 so, uh, once again I would like to thank uh, Sri Suresh Prabhu. I request him subsequently one of the days you call Andhra Pradesh MP separately, Telangana MP separately. There are a lot of issues which are pending for years together. I don't hold you or your department as are now responsible for them. Some of them can be done easily. Some of them requires finances. I have entire country is appreciating the new railway minister because he has not made any false promises. Because earlier, I don't say that people have made false promises, but they made promises which could not be fulfilled or which are not fulfilled. It's a fact. PM also told him that whatever promises are made by earlier governments and earlier ministers, first focus on implementing them before again committing new trains and uh, new lines and uh, conversions and all. But going by my knowledge, going by the present situation, to complete all the ongoing projects, it will take only some 40 years, not much. 40 years means one generation. So keeping that in mind, keeping that in mind, yeah, yeah, keeping that in mind, I request the minister, hold meeting with these MPs and then prioritize according to them what is prioritized. Second suggestion, because as a minister I can't speak in parliament on your demands. So the second suggestion is, the, sec the second uh, suggestion is, second, second suggestion, simple suggestion is, ongoing works, 70%, 80%, they should be given priority so that that can be put into operation. That should be the priority. Other works, you can start as per your convenience and all. Once again, uh, I convey my best wishes to people of Andhra Pradesh and also people of Telangana on this occasion of uh, the, the inaugural run ceremony of the New Delhi Vishakapatnam Andhra Pradesh Express. I am happy that you made a AC, full AC and I hope that you will make it regular and also make it more convenient in terms of timing as well as in, time of, in, in terms of uh, consuming their time. On behalf of everybody and I am happy that you have invited all the MPs. Uh, I would like to thank you and your department for giving us this opportunity. Namaskar Jai Hind. Yeh package me gondu nokke se nikalyan babu ne naru tu naru. Yeh padga na, oga manasun na nae kudga, bite kira, prajala taraf na nilo pade, mari jagan mohan adigar poorar tu nahi poorar tu nikhe, sangee baal tele jaise.